everybody, this is Praxis and we are on site, but everything is frozen and there's very little that I can do today. There's a big mass of Arctic air that's come in and the the temperature this whole week is like 30 degrees, three zero degrees below what's considered normal. Everything is rock hard. Uh, you know, I can't stamp down the dirt because it's frozen. I can't shovel the, the dirt because it's frozen. I can't really do that much, but I did want to come in and do some stuff. And one of the things that I'm doing today is uh, working a little bit on this bathroom area where there were some clear issues that have been uh, coming up recently. Uh, when the plumber finished up their kind of rough drain work, they said, okay, I, I'm all done. You know, you can get the, the slab poured and then call me back when, you know, you're ready to do the rest of the plumbing. But there were some issues that that seemed like they were going to be problems to me and you know I, I was able to confirm that they actually are going to be problems and I'll just share them with you right now. Now the floor level is right here and you can see their little stub out here extends above the floor. Uh, their foam's a little bit low uh, but you know this is kind of the way everything was supposed to look. But some of their stub outs are kind of low and I don't know why they had them so low. I, I, maybe they were running short on pipe material or whatever. They made them kind of squatty and when I actually really looked at it they're going to be below the slab. So, um, you know, if I poured the slab, they were going to need a jackhammer or a drill or something to get down to these little pass-throughs, and clearly that was a problem. So I contacted them. It was like, you know, was that your plan? Like, you know, like, what's the deal with that? And it became obvious, yes, that was a mistake. They said that what they had planned on was that the floor level was not going to be here where it's labeled floor which is clearly where this thing was aligned with, and like, the foam's a little bit low, but, you know, obviously they were going with this as the floor line here, but they said for these, they were thinking that the floor line wasn't going to be here, but down by the footing, which, you know, this is an unconventional house. We've had a lot of this, this fill and mass here, you know, bringing up the floor level, but even in a conventional house, you wouldn't put the floor right on the footing. That would just... You, the floor always goes a little bit over the footing, at least. So I don't know what their real their, their real story is, but they screwed this stuff up. And uh, you know, I came in here and I've got these extensions. I'm not going to glue them today because it's super cold and I got it, you know, it's just uncomfortable. But um, the reason I wanted to share this video here today is just to remind you. And I know I've done it in the series many times before, but just the the fact that when you hire contractors and they come in and they're doing stuff for you, if you see something and it seems wrong. Definitely second guess it. 90% of the time with me, when it seems like someone's doing something wrong, I as a layperson seem to know more about it than they do, and you know, I'm right and they were wrong. And you know, that's stupid. You know, a professional should come in and know more than someone that doesn't know anything. I don't have any training in this, I have very little experience in it, but I care and I have common sense, and those things usually, you know, they I I don't like using the word Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but they, those things usually trump professionals because, because I don't know. You know, I don't like to think that I'm super smart. I'm not. I don't like to think that other people are super dumb. I don't think that they are. Uh, I, maybe they just don't care. Maybe they're overworked or whatever. But whatever, whatever it is, if you see something and you think that it's wrong, speak up because, you know, people make a lot of mistakes. There have been a lot of mistakes made on this project that I've had to correct from the electrical panel being put in the wrong place to this stuff to you know you know earth fill being put in the it just it goes on and on and on concrete team has been awesome though <laughs> concrete people haven't made any issues um, but yeah mistakes come up all the time have some faith in yourself and if you see something that you think is wrong question it and head it off before it becomes a, a problem you have to solve with a jackhammer that's it thanks for watching